Craig Verhaga, the Barbecue Ninja, coming at y'all from the Mossy Oak Plantation Hunting Club. This is a special time to, to come out and to fellowship with, with all my great friends and, and also to partake in some really, really good wild game. Uh, th this wild game comes from www.gamekeepermeats.com. And it's unbelievable, you can get a wide variety of, of bison, elk, uh, venison, wild boar, pheasant, quail, duck, and alligator. And what I have here in front of me is my next dish. And this is gonna be a braised rabbit with garlic. It's gonna be, it's, I'm very excited about this recipe just because rabbit takes me back to my childhood because that's, that's really the first thing I ever hunted was rabbit. And so, uh, I'm really excited about it. First thing we're going to do is, is we're, we're going to rub this rabbit with killer hog. This, uh, this, this is some great barbecue rub and we're going to put a good sear on the rabbit on the outside and then after we get done searing the rabbit we're going to come in and we're going to put it in the, the pot to braise and we're going to add the parsley, we're going to add the onion, we're going to add the, the uh, vegetable broth and the white wine vinegar and that vinegar is going to give it a real good pop, give it a real good acidity that's going to just set the whole dish off so get a little rub on here once we get this rub on here we're going to go over to the grill with the grill grates we're going to put an awesome sear on the outside of these things and what that sear is going to do is it's going to seal in all the juices on the on the inside of, of the the meat and then the braising process is just going to introduce more moisture to the meat it's going to be awesome Hit the grill. We'll get a good sear on each side of this and, and the, the sugars in this dry rub is going to work real well with the getting that crust on the outside of this and sealing in these flavors. That's what we're looking to do because we just want to hit it hot and fast and, and then go to the braising pot and finish it off there. Alright guys, we just got done with the sear on this rabbit. We got the, the, the killer hog on there. We, we hit it with the grill grates over the uh, Royal Oak charcoal, and it's time to put everybody in the pool. So th this, is, this is where we're going with this, is to get the back hinds in the, in the bottom there, the thickest part of the rabbit. So we get those in there, and then we go with the fronts, and then we got the saddles we'll go in with. All right. A little beer here. Then we got a quartered up onion and we got whole garlic cloves, probably about two garlic pods worth. Right, smelling great. In the liquid here, we've got vegetable broth and we also have white wine vinegar. And the white wine vinegar, what it does is it just gives that acid in there that's really gonna help break down the meat, but it's also gonna give it that little bit of pop with the acid. And the vegetable broth, it, it's, just, it's just flavor. All right. I'm gonna add a little more of this beer. We need a little more liquid. Then we're gonna finish over here with a little bit of parsley over the top. Perfect. Ah, looks good enough to eat already. Just think of what it's gonna be looking like when it's done. I'm gonna serve this over wild rice, which is gonna be a great, great job. All right, we're going on the short rib drum smoker. And we're gonna run this thing. It's gonna be really, it's, it's a time where it, when the rabbit is fork tender, that's when you know it's done. So that could go an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. We're gonna run this thing up to about 350, 400 in that range, go hot. And then when it's fork tender, it's done. And then we're gonna serve it and enjoy. Coming to the end here, and I tell you, we got the braised rabbit ready to go. It, it's, it's fork tender. Uh, we've got the, the garlic in there has just melted into the to the broth there and and you know, we're serving it over some long grain wild rice and a little ladle of the broth in here 
we actually have the saddle saddle of the rabbit in here I tell you I cannot wait to try this because I got a feeling it's probably gonna be pretty special and thing is I mean this meat is just pure clean good white meat it's it, it's just looks absolutely fabulous it looks better than a pork loin mm. Tastes better than a pork loin too.